Hello, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can build 10 cool decorative items to place around your base if you need them. Now this can be anything from a deep fryer to a steel beam, so I've gone ahead and put timestamps in this video so you can scroll ahead to the items that you want to build. But um, yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be building is a flower pot, but it doesn't really contain flowers, it contains uh, tiny tiles. But what we will need is four, uh, so I think that, yeah, four small tiles of cherry wood one small tile of walnut wood, two tiny tiles of zombie wood, and two regular wires. So you want to start off by grabbing a small tile and placing it anywhere. I'm going to place mine right here. And then we want to place them in a perfect square. So you want to place the small tiles in a square like this where you leave out the corners. And then you want to grab the small tile made of walnut and place it inside of the square. Okay, so the small tiles can be really annoying to work with, so just remove two of the sides so you can place the uh, walnut tile. So you want to grab two small tile blueprints and place them on top of each other. And then grab the walnut blueprint and place it like that and delete the two others. Then just simply place back the walls like they were before, like this. And then we go ahead and normally the way you do this is you take tiny tiles and then you place them like right here and right here and then you just keep stacking them and you make one taller than the other like that and then you just place your real tiny tiles on top like this and then after that you just delete the uh, blueprints and then we want to connect those with wires so we grab the wires and then we connect it from one tiny tile to the roughly the center like this and then we grab the other wire and do the same for the other tile. And boom, now you have a flower pot with a little tiny tree, which is very nice. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be making is like an item box that you can put uh, items in. And, uh, hmm. I would probably just get a bunch of tile blueprints because, uh, you know, you can uh, make it as big or as small as you want. So, I'm just going to start off by doing two tiles like this. When I've done that, here comes the annoying bit. We want to grab tiny tiles. And we want to place them all along the edge like this. It's going to be quite annoying, but trust me, the end result will be worth it. Now, when I said that was the most annoying part, uh, I kind of lied because it isn't. Now we want to grab a tiny tile, place it like this, and then we want to keep going. So we just want to, hold on, let me get this right. There we go, delete that tiny tile, and delete that one. And then one twenty-fifth of a stud above the first layer, we want to build the second layer, which is going to be really annoying. And once that is completed, uh, you're done. You're done with the storage box. Uh, it is actually not that hard to build, it's just annoying to build, but it does look very cool. So now you can go ahead and put anything you'd like in this box, and um, yeah, it's it's a box, there's not really anything else to it. But uh, yeah, pretty cool I guess. And next up we have a garage table, which is this uh, nice table right here that you're seeing, and um, I don't think I have like resources to build it. Uh, now I'm using a tutorial to build this because it's not my design, obviously, what do you expect? But um, if you want to find other cool designs that I'm not covering in this video, you can go to the Lumber Tycoon fan group Discord server, which is very nice. But uh, yes, as I said, this is my last piece of oak and uh, I don't want to use any of my other wood because I need that for other stuff. And then you can put anything you'd like on or underneath or next to this garage table and it's gonna look even better so a very cool way to do a shelf design is to grab basically do what uh, the picture on screen says right now so we're gonna grab a smooth wall like this place it anywhere grab a short smooth wall place it here and here grab a post here and here and then fill that in with some sort of wood now I want to grab a 2x2 two two wedge and place it here and here. Then we want to grab a 1x1 one one wedge 
and place it here and here. And then finally we grab a 1x4x1 wedge, put it here and here, and boom, our shelf is completed. And you can go ahead and fill this with uh, gifts and stuff, And but uh, yeah, let's move on to the next thing. The next thing we're going to make is a coat hanger, and to do that we first of all want to grab some tiny tiles. And we're going to place one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to fill that in with some sort of background wood. Then we want to grab some small tiles. This is just for guiding. And we want to place them. Hmm. Like that. And then we want to grab four regular wires. Then we want to grab the wires and place them going out and up. Just like that. And we want to do that for this side as well. Kind of like this. Where it goes out. And then up. It's kind of hard to do. And then we want to... Uh, we can delete these now. And then we want to do the same for the other side. So it starts here, goes out, and then up. And then the last thing. And boom, there is a very simple coat hanger. Uh, I, I just made this up. I just freestyled it. So it doesn't look the best, but it's a coat hanger nonetheless. All right, now let's go over how you can build a deep fryer. So for this build, you're going to need a dishwasher. You're going to need two small tiles of, uh, what is that? That is, uh, that is snow globe wood. Four small tiles of birch wood, uh, pine wood, or palm wood. I just had palm wood. Uh, just like any wood that kind of looks like this. And you're going to need a 2x4 of uh, snow glow wood. And you're going to need an alt account as well. Alright, so to start off, we want to go with our main account, which is this one right here. And then we want to grab the dishwasher. And then we want to turn it... Like this. And place it up against the wall. I'm going to place it right here. Next up, what we want to do is that we want to do a cool little glitch where we go to our alt account. Press E, move on the dishwasher. Then go to menu on our main account. Settings, click our alt account's name. Remove permissions to move structures. And press B on your alt account. And that means that it has now disappeared. Then we grab the alt account and we grab the 2x4. And we place it. If I can remember this correctly. Nope. Not like that. Like this. Boom. So now it should be one stud down, which is just perfect. And then before we go any further, we uh, want to we want to grab the two by two tiles and place them like this. And then we want to grab the two by two tiles of the other wood color and place one here. Place one here. And on the other side as well. Just like that. The, this may not make too much sense when we view it on our alt account. But when we go on our main account, we have a deep fryer. Uh, just don't look like right here. Uh, yeah, don't do that. So you can... I, I think this is the simple version of making the deep fryer. Um, you can always improve this design. Uh, but this, this is just the basics of how to make a deep fryer. So, um, yeah, it's a very cool deep fryer. Let's uh, let's move on. All right, next up, we're going to be talking about how you can build a locker, which uh, this one looks a bit wonky, but uh, oh well. So first of all, you want to grab four tiny floors and place them like this, where there's two studs in between there and one stud in between here. Then you want to grab two smooth walls, which are four by eights, and you want to place them on the sides like this. Then grab four posts and fill it in at the front and on the other side as well. 
Then you want to grab a small floor or a 2x2 two two and place it in the top like that. Once that is done, it's time to add the detail on the locker. So we want to grab three neon wires. And then we just want to start somewhere like right here. Maybe a bit. And just try to make it like that. And then do that two more times. And then finally, we want to grab a wire. And then we want to start up here. Go out like this. Go down to like right here. Go over, go up again, and finish off right here. And boom, now we have a very simple locker. Now, just a locker alone, well, it's pretty simple, but if you put like a whole row of these, it's gonna look uh, pretty good, in my opinion, at least. But that is how to make a very simple locker, so uh, let's move on. Right now, we will be building a crate, uh, which is basically just a box, but it, it's a better box yeah so start by grabbing some regular tiles and then place oh, one two three then you want to grab some tiny tiles which is a bit annoying and then make sure that they are pointing the correct direction and then from here you want to go one two in like this place one two three four Go this way, go one, two in, one, two, three, and four. And then you can delete these uh, tiles in the background. Now I recommend having a darker wood color and a lighter wood color. So I'm choosing oak and elm. So these will be uh, filled in with, for example, oak. Now after that, we wanna grab a tile and then we want to place it on top of this one, like right about there. One right next to it, if you can there you go and one right there and fill that in with the lighter wood color now after that we want to make the box itself so we want to grab a small tile and then we want to place it like this all around the edge of the box and you want to fill that in with the lighter wood color as well once that is done we want to grab the tiny tile as well and then we want to place them at the front right here and here like that and on the other side as well and then we want to grab the tile and place it at the very top like this and then at last we take a tiny floor and or a tiny tile sorry and just connect up these parts right here and just like that your box is done and this is a very good box i mean you can't really use it unless you press E move on the middle one and then you can put stuff in here. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, decoration item. Now, the next thing we're going to be building is a pallet. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's... Why are the blueprints always disappearing? That's kind of annoying. So you want to place a tiny floor anywhere on your base. Then you want to move one, two studs, place another, and one, two studs, and place another one. You want to do this the same way on the other axes. So one, two, place one. Oh, whoops, sorry. And then one, two, and place one. And then you want to fill in everything in between. There you go. Once that is done, you want to go ahead and grab some tiny tiles. And you want to place them in between these uh, tiny floors. Like this. And of course, you just want to fill these in. And then finally, we want to grab some tiles and place them at the very top of... Uh-oh. Yeah, so you're going to have to use some uh, some extra tiles, which is going to be really annoying. But uh, yeah, too bad. And once those tiles are filled in, congratulations, you have a pallet and it looks awesome. Now, it's not really fun to have a pallet if there's nothing you can put on the pallet. And that brings us on to the next thing, which is steel beams. Because, uh, let's put some steel beams on this pallet. Now, to make steel beams, it's actually really simple. You want to grab a bunch of tiny floors, so it's going to be really annoying. And then you want to place it. I'm going to start, I'm going to place a bunch. So you're going to just start by placing them like this. 
and then you want to rotate it like this, the tiny floor. And then you want to place it on the edge like that. Let's say you... like that. Yeah, that's like round about the center. So you want to move three in from the edge, and then boom. Now you have a pattern here. Then you want to rotate that again, and then place even more on top. And then you can kind of start to see the steel beam forming here. I recommend that you fill this in with birch wood since that is the closest color to steel that we can get in the game. And once that is filled in, well, congratulations, you now have a steel beam. But one steel beam is not fun at all, so you gotta build some more. And there we go, now I have a few more steel beams. And yeah, make sure to get some steel beams, everyone. Now, before I end this video, I just want to say that most of these builds were found from the Lumber Tycoon 2 fan group Discord server, where there is a ton of other cool builds that you can do. So, I highly recommend that you join that Discord server. If you don't know how to join, basically, you go to uh, Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2, join the Roblox group, and then there should be a Discord link there. You can also go buy some uh, some merch. Uh, I have merchandise on Roblox. That's, uh, that's about it. So... Have a nice day, and I will disappear again, so goodbye.